Alma. 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 Well, I want to do pizza for Alma. Because Alma was a good... What song are we singing today, Lucy? I want to be a missionary. Okay, now. should we sing it? Because Alma was a good missionary. He was a, one of the first missionaries in the Book of Mormon. Because he went to teach the people who had forgotten. Do you know why I did this? So that no one does, like, flips all the pages. Yep, and then we're going to... So many other things. There you, you guys want, I want you guys to see my... You were talking about missionaries today. Didn't you say they were one of your favorite people? Yeah. When we were talk when we were sleeping. Um, and then Lucy was reading mission was singing about missionaries. Okay, I let's read. Remember. Let's read let's read some of our scriptures because we need to get caught up. Let's read some of our scriptures. Wait, are, are you um when can we Number do the two pizza party? party? Okay, now who is King Noah? Uh, the bad guy. He's bad guy. Bad guy. So Alma went and taught the people and baptized them, and told them about the church, just like the song says, and baptized them, baptized the people, and, and then not, King like, Noah, the bad guy, found out. And just like the book. That's right. And King Noah found out, and he chased so. Alma and the people who were the good guys what had to she, run away. And um, what she sneaking out? So, out of those people that he, that Alma taught, there was a guy named Gideon. Can you say that word? Gideon. Gideon. All right, let's let's learn about Gideon. He's going to he's going to Who's Gideon? I'll tell you in just a minute. Okay, we're going to read a chapter and then we'll do a story. It came to pass that the army of the kings returned, have searched in vain, it's going to take a while, for the people of the Lord. And now, behold, the forces of the king, that's King Noah, were small, having been reduced, and there began to be a division among the remainder of the people. And the lesser part began to breathe out threats against the king, and there began to be a great contention among them. Now there was a man whose name was Gideon, and he, being a strong man, and entered an enemy of the king, therefore he drew his sword and swore in his wrath that he would slay the king. It came to pass that he fought with the king, and the king saw that he was about to overpower him. He fled and ran and got upon a tower which was near the temple. So King Noah ran away because he was scared. I hear Whoa. Gideon ran after him, pursued him, and he was about to get upon the tower to slay the king. And the king cast his eyes round about towards the land of Shalom. And behold, the army of the Lamanites were within the borders of the land. Now the king cried out in anguish and his soul, saying, Gideon, spare me, for the Lamanites are upon us, and they will destroy us. Yea, they will destroy my people. Now the king was not so much concerned about the people as he was about his own life. Nevertheless, Gideon did spare his life. And the king commanded that the people that they should flee, the Lamanites and himself, did go before them, and they were they did flee into the wilderness with their women and children. It came to pass that the Lamanites did pursue him, and did overtake him, and began to slay them. It came to pass that the king commanded them all the men should have their wives and their children and flee before the Lamanites. And there were many that would not leave them and would rather stay and perish with them. And the rest left 
their wives and their children and fled. It came to pass that those who tarried with their wives and their children caused that their fair daughters should stand forth and plead with the Lamanites that they should not slay them. It came to pass that the Lamanites and had compassion on them, for they were charmed with the beauty of their women. Therefore the Lamanites did spare their lives and took them captive and carried them back to the land of Nephi and granted unto them that they might possess the land under the conditions that they would deliver up King Noah unto the hands of the Lamanites and deliver up their property, even one half of all they possessed. So they're going to take them into slavery, kind of. One half of their gold, half of their silver, and all their precious things. And thus they should tribute pay tribute to the king of the Lamanites from year to year. And now there was one of the sons of the kings who, those that were taken captive, those his name was Limhi. Limhi was desirous that his father should not be, not be destroyed. Nevertheless, Limhi was not ignorant of the iniquities of his father, he himself being a just man. It came to pass that Gideon sent men into the wilderness secretly, to search for the king and those that were with him. It came to pass that they met the people of the wilderness, all save the king and his priests. And they were sworn in their hearts that they would return to the land of Nephi, and if their wives and their children were slain, and all those that had tarried with them, that they would seek revenge and also perish with them. And the king commanded that they should not return. And they were angry with the king, and caused that he should suffer unto his own death by fire. Do you remember? Abinadi told king. Yes. Um, did this guy eat his pizza? I don't know. We're going to read that story after this. So Abinadi told King Noah that he was going to die the same way that Abinadi died. And he died by fire. And they both died by fire. So his promise came true. And they were about to take the priests also and put them to death and they fled before them and it came to pass that they were about to return to the land of Nephi and they met a man they met they met the men of Gideon and the men of Gideon told them all that they what had happened to their wives and their children that the Lamanites had granted unto them that they might possess the land by praying paying a tribute to the Lamanites for one half of all their possessions which is bad but at least they weren't dead Daddy, what this one do all It's a map. Mm -hmm. Yep. And the people told the men of Gideon that they had slain the people, and the priests had fled from their fathers into the wilderness. It came to pass that after they had ended the ceremony, they returned to the land of Nephi rejoicing, because their wives and their children were not slain. And they told Gideon that they had done what they had done to the king. It came to pass that the king of the Lamanites had an oath unto them, that his people should not be should not slay them, and also Limhi, being a son of the king, having the kingdom conferred upon him by the people, made oath unto the king of the Lamanites that his people should pay tribute unto them even half of their possessions. It came to pass that Limhi began to establish the kingdom and to establish peace among his people. The king of the Lamanites set guards round about the land that they might keep the people of Limhi in the land that they might not depart into the wilderness. And he did support his guards out of the tribute which he did receive from the Nephites. Now King Limhi uh, did have continual peace in his kingdom for the space of two years. That Lamanites did not bless them nor did seek to destroy them. So King Noah is gone. He's dead. And now it's King Limhi and he's a good guy. Oh, That's over the Nephites. Noah. Is he a bad he's the bad, guy? He was the bad guy. Is King Noah died? Yep. He now died by fire, just like the thing that said. Okay, so we didn't touch, we didn't touch much about Alma. Do we want to do pizza, and then we'll watch a, a story about no, Alma? No, pizza problem. Oh, pizza problem. Carl picked this one, right, Carl? Yeah. He picked the story. And then next week, Lucy, you can pick the story, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, let's read about pizza problem. Okay, it says up here, remember the Sabbath day. What's the Sabbath day? You sleep. <laughs> we sleep in sometimes. What's the Sabbath day? We said it in our prayer. We said thank you for the Sabbath day. Um, Do you know what Sabbath means? It um, means Sunday. Sunday is the Sabbath day. Um, okay, so just think about that as we read this. And it, 
Jake loved Sundays. He loved learning about Jesus. He loved singing primary songs. And he loved pizza. Every Sunday, Jake's family stopped at a pizza place on their way home from church. Thinking about the gooey, cheesy, warm sauce always made his mouth water. On Sunday, Jake's class was talking about keeping the Sabbath day holy, which means make it a special day. What can we do to show that it's a special day, Sister Chi asked. Help other people, Raul said. Go to church, Tamara said. Spend time with our family, Jake said. These are all great answers, said Sister Chi, writing them on the board. Anything else? We don't go shopping on Sunday unless it's an emergency, Liam said. That's right, said Sister Chi, nodding. Then we can think about Heavenly Father instead of thinking about buying things. Also, that helps other people keep the Sabbath day holy instead of having to work. Sister Chi and the other kids kept talking, but suddenly Jake found it hard to listen. His family never went to the mall or the grocery store on Sunday, but they did go out for pizza. Were they, were they keeping the Sabbath day holy? What do you think? I don't know. No. When class ended, Jake went to find his parents. For the first time, he wasn't very excited about eating pizza. Mom met him in the hallway with his little brother Daniel. She led them outside to the car where Dad was waiting. How is church? He asked once they were all buckled in. Great. I learned a new song in primary, Daniel said, singing what he could remember. Jake stayed quiet, looking down at his shoes. What about you, Jake? Dad said. It was okay, Dad mumbled without looking up. What did you learn about? Mom asked. The Sabbath day, Jake said. We learned about that too, Dad said, glancing over at Mom. Actually, we wanted to talk to you guys about something. Should we be buying pizza on Sunday? No. That's the dad I was asking. Jake blurted out. He didn't want to ruin their family tradition, but he wanted to keep the Sabbath day holy too. Mom looked back at him. That's exactly what we wanted to talk about. Mom said, we realize that eating pizza at a pizza place probably isn't the best thing to do on the Sabbath. But can we still have pizza on Sunday? Daniel said. Sure, we'll eat something else today, Dad said. From now on, I'll buy a frozen pizza on Saturday. Then we can bake it at home on Sunday. Can we try different toppings on it? Jake said like olives and peppers shaped like smiley faces yeah with a pineapple nose Daniel added yeah you've got it mom said Jake felt a big grin spread across his face the warm feeling he had inside was warm with all the pizza was more warm than all the pizza in all the world and here's a little saying from our prophet. A sacred Sabbath truly is a delight. So what was the pizza problem? Someone ate his pizza. No. <laughs> I know. Yes, Carl. They shouldn't go to church for pizza. Well, they shouldn't buy pizza on Sunday, the same day they go to church, huh? Yeah. So what did they do to solve the problem? We don't do that. Um, the dad would give him a nice cold pizza and then he would warm it up at home. On Sunday, right. Yep. They buy a frozen pizza on Saturday when they, when they go to the grocery store. And then on Sunday, when they stay home, then they would warm it up and they could still have pizza. So they mm -hmm. solved their pizza problem. Yep. And I might testimony is that if you'll always remember to keep the Sabbath day holy the Heavenly Father will bless you and give you the blessings and things that you need. In Jesus Christ Amen. Amen. Are we done with church? Let's go ahead. Why don't you say the closing prayer? Carl. 
And then we'll watch a video about Alma and the missionary. And can we have a half a bread yeah, over there? Yeah, you can do that while you're watching. We can get two halves of wait, bread. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. When when you say the closing prayer, it means our church is already done. Yeah, but then we can go watch the video. Oh, wait. do you want me to say it, or do you want to say it? I want to say it. Okay, go ahead. Actually, I want mom to sing it. Mommy's um, doing video. Yeah. Do you want me to help Daddy. you? Say it? Here, I'll help you say it. 